hello guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is cynthia and in today's video i'm going to show you how to create a wig using a needle and thread and not a sewing machine so for this tutorial all i'm going to need is a dome cap a block head canvas some t pins and needle and thread so first i'm going to start by uh, clipping my closure onto my dome cap i'll clip it in the center portion of the dome cap and i'll move it like a quarter of an inch forward that's where the normal hairline is supposed to start and not where the dome cap starts and then I'm gonna take the rest of the hair and clip it off with a dog clip so first I would start by using a curved needle to sew right through the closure and the dome cap I would be securing each and every stitch I make um, by securing I mean pulling the needle through and then tying the end of the thread around the needle and then pulling it back yeah I do know that some people just uh, secure the first two stitch and then do the running stitch right across the closure and then secure the last that is totally fine but like this is my method i like to secure each and every stitch i make here so that my wig would last longer so when i'm done i'm just gonna tie it and like snip it off with my scissors so the next step is to um, map the outline where I'm going to sew my bundles onto like this step is very important guys like um, you wouldn't drive without a map so this is like the map for where you're going to put your bundles I will do an inch apart from each other like you see what I do just tape the tape and then uh, use a chalk to outline one inch apart from each other if you do not have a measure a measuring tape that is totally fine you can like do two finger widths apart but that would depend on how big or how tiny your fingers are so yeah um, I'm just going to outline the rest of the map I made so for the sake of this tutorial the hair I'm going to be using is from Moa hairline uh, this is my Indian raw donor wavy hair um, I'm gonna tell you guys all about it later but like yeah let's focus on the tutorial and um, I already used the sewing machine to like uh, stitch the two like uh, two strands of hair together like um, ideally you should double your weft when you're making a wig to give it that full effect I already like doubled my weft with the sewing machine but uh, I did initially want to use a sewing machine for this tutorial but uh, in the middle I changed my mind and I decided to show you guys how I do it with uh, a needle and thread and um, for this particular uh, creation I would not be doing the clip or the snip method where I get to the end and snip off the hair I would be folding the bundles over because I don't want all that shedding clipping off or snipping off the hair at the end it contributes to hair shedding and secondly uh, I wouldn't want my clients to deal with um, pieces and pieces of hair just in case she decides to like uh, use the wig or use the bundles for a weave yeah you never know so that's why I do it the way I do it so guys um, I'm still going to be doing the secured stitch method on the bundles of hair for this uh, tutorial I used like three bundles of hair but you can totally get away with using two it's just not going to be as full and you could do that maybe by like doing one line or one weft of hair at the back but you must double that bundle when you get to the middle and top part of the hair to give it that full effect or you could still do the two um, wefts but like you're gonna do the sew a line jump a line and you're still going to have to cut that bundle so i didn't want to do that for this tutorial yeah guys so please pardon the white streak on my face i know it's distracting that is what happens when you do not blend your sunscreen well anyhow we're gonna move on to like we're gonna keep going with the tutorial i would let you guys watch and uh, i would come explain where i need to and i hope you guys have as much fun watching this video as much as i've had creating it for you let me know the kind of content you like to see and like we'll get down to it okay yeah and uh, i lost a clip where when i get towards the middle or towards the top of the hair uh, the only place i use one line or one weft of hair is like close to the closure like i line the closure around with one weft of hair like just to 
give it a flat finish and it won't make it look bumpy if I use like two wefts of hair on it. I'm sorry guys, I lost that clip but um, yeah, we're gonna keep moving on and uh, when you're sewing, another word of advice or what I would do is uh, I usually trace the line in the shape of a U because if you sew like straight or if you sew the weave or weft straight it's not going to give you a good look or a good finish when you're done and another thing guys please pardon the blue tint on my closure like that's going to be my bleaching story like uh that's what happens when you leave your shimmer light purple conditioner on your hair for a long time like it seeped right through my lace and that's what happens with all this hd lace like it gets stained so fast so guys yeah um, i'm getting towards the end or towards the top of the wig and yeah um this is just how i make my bundles with the needle and thread i prefer the curved needle but if you do not have a curved needle you can totally use a straight needle like you can create using whatever you have guys so yeah um i would let you watch the rest of the tutorial and i will come and explain where i need to okay Slowly things will come around 
and hands But you don't even hear my call And you make me wonder who I So I've almost come to the end of this tutorial. Uh, I didn't really explain much on styling because that's not the focus. The focus is on like making the hair. I use the pin curl and I use like the hair spritz to hold the curl in place, right? Uh, and before you use any hot product on your hair, like hot combs, flatteners, I would advise you use a heat protecting spray. And for the sake of this tutorial, I use the Got to Be Good heat protecting spray. And I chose the uh, pin curl method over any other like um, wave or crimping because like I think I can achieve more with the pin curl method. I can do the Hollywood curl or the full bitchy wave. Then I'm gonna cut off the dome cap and I will be using my hot comb to like um, lay the closure, like give it the kind of shape I want. If you're gonna invest in wigs, I would also advise you invest in a good hot comb because that would like take your wig from a zero to like 10 or a hundred whichever one is the highest on the scale for you like it gives you this hairline illusion yeah but i have not forgotten about the blue lace that can be fixed with maybe a brown lace tint or even the color of the foundation um and it's also hd lace so uh, hd laces are the best to work with so for the sake of this tutorial I use the 5x5 five five closure or um, and uh, my Indian hair bundles guys if you do like this tutorial please leave me a thumbs up comment and subscribe to my channel I would love to read your comments and know what you guys think until I come your way again next time do have fun and stay blessed thanks for watching bye